I'm Mika Fabs. And I'm Excandrel. And welcome to the Wild Rift Region Breakdown. We had a blast this year watching teams from around the world develop their playstyles and hone their strategies in Wild Rift's Year Zero. And the Horizon Cup gave us the perfect stage to see all the unique and exciting matchups between the different regions. With the end of Wild Rift's inaugural global tournament, we're taking a look at how the best teams from around the world are prepared to lead their regions into Wild Rift's first competitive season. Representing the colorful and diverse region of Latin America was Ebro Gaming from Argentina. However, Ebro's road to the Horizon Cup was filled with challenges. They struggled to place above third in any Latin America tournament, putting them at a lower seed for the regional qualifier, the Losito Salvaje Abierto 2021 Finals. Latin America had a gauntlet-style qualifier, which meant that if Ebro was going to win, they had to beat the fourth seed and then the second seed, and then the first seed, and finally, the first seed from the other division, all in a row too. With perseverance, passion, and their pride on the line, Ebro Gaming managed to beat all of them back to back, climbing through the gauntlet and taking Latin America by storm. And to do all this, they mastered their style of controlled chaos. While the other top teams from Latin America like Leviathan Esports and Naguara team played a more standard team fight style around their mid laners and dragon laners, Ebro Gaming favored a chaotic skirmish style around their Baron laner Heish. With creativity galore, Ebro rewrote the rulebook on Wild Rift, mixing up lane assignments, using alternate jungle pathing, anything they could do to throw off their opponents. And it was in these situations that Ebro consistently capitalized against their enemies. With fearless engages, aggressive rotations, and some of Heish's mechanics, Ebro used their unpredictable skirmishing prowess to surpass their limits and take Latin America's spot at the Horizon Cup. While they did manage to win their region, Latin America's international results have been inconsistent in the very large ocean of mobile gaming. With powerhouse regions China and Southeast Asia getting two teams apiece at the Horizon Cup, it was fair to say that Ebro were the underdogs. But just like in their regional qualifier, they didn't let being the underdogs hold them back. Their chaotic style led to some insanely close teams fights despite massive goal deficits in their series versus Europe's Team Queso. And in their games versus Team Secret, Hayes showed Latin America's mechanical skill by solo killing a czar, while Kite and Tix showed their mastery of the crazy situations with an insanely clean 2v4 kill onto Team Secret's Chewy. However, in the end, their chaos proved to be too much for them to control, and they failed to make it out of their group. While some people might say that Ebro gaming style is cheesy or gimmicky, they're missing the bigger picture. Tactics like late invades, lane swaps, and off-meta champions are a huge part of the game, a part that often gets overlooked by teams that are too willing to play by the books. The ability to think outside the box is what led to their win over Leviathan Esports in the qualifier. It's what gave Heish his lead on Renekton to carry them to their first win at the Horizon Cup versus Sengoku Gaming. And it's what pushes Wild Rift further as teams like Ebro Gaming force the meta to evolve. And that's really the takeaway for their opponents that played against them at the Horizon Cup. Having to play around offbeat picks like Akshan, Aurelia, and Saul completely changed the draft and the direction of the games. Having to adapt your mid-game plan due to lane swaps forces teams to critically think and improve. Ebro Gaming didn't take the Horizon Cup home with them, but they did get valuable experience versus various international playstyles that they will use to continue pushing the boundaries of Wild Rift. Post Horizon Cup, the question on some LATAM fans' minds is if the other Latin American powerhouses like Leviathan Esports or Naguara team would have been more successful at the Horizon Cup. Ebro's destructive style dazzled their enemies in the Lecito Abertio final, but perhaps the more objective focused style of Mexico's Naguara team, who went 12 0 in the LATAM North Close qualifier, or the map control style of Argentina's Leviathan Esports, would have helped LATAM go a bit further at the Horizon Cup. Well, we can only speculate 2021 is hindsight after all. What is guaranteed is that in 2022, LATAM will continue to shine as one of the most creative and diverse regions in competitive Wild Rift esports. If teams across the region continue to push the envelope while incorporating lessons learned from the international experience of the Horizon Cup, the future is bright for Latin America Wild Rift pros. And as Wild Rift is poised to become more competitive as an esport in its first season, teams that fail to grow will quickly fall behind. The consistency may turn into predictability, while the creativity of Latin American contenders like Ebro, Naguara Team, and Leviathan Esports will continue to push their limits. There's one thing that we can say about Ebro Gaming and Latin America in Wild Rift Esports. 
is that their future is impossible to predict. So whose stories will you be following into Wild Rift's first official season? Who are going to be the next esports legends? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned for more esports insights in our Wild Rift region breakdown.